Hey everybody, I hope y'all are doing well. It's Shabby Zane checking in with you all. Um, so I just wanted to come on to do a message specifically for the chosen. Um, it's gonna be a quick message, but this is very important. Um, it's in regards to the sacrifices, okay? Because one thing that I have been coming into an understanding of is that if you are chosen, then you was likely put up for sacrifice amongst, you know, out of all of the people that could have uh, been put up for sacrifice in your family. When I say sacrifice, I'm, I'm meaning the same sacrifice as um, what Yeshua went through, okay? Crucifixion, okay? Uh, we are in the age of Aquarius, and in this time, the chosen seeds are, we are to awaken, okay? This is our time to awaken to awaken to our Christ consciousness as a collective body. And so, because we have been given such a great assignment, all of the chosen seeds have been given the assignment of breaking generational curses, okay? Um, during the time of Yeshua back in the age of Pisces, um, the masses were highly influenced through their emotions. And this is why many of us um, we dropped our guards. We let our guards, our guards down and we forgot who we were, okay? Because we were highly driven by our emotions. And so when Yeshua was actually sacrificed because it was a ritualistic sacrifice that was done to Yeshua because he came in to awaken us, knowing that in that time, in the age of Pisces, we would be put to sleep. Um, he came in with the agenda to remind us of the power that we possess and the authority that we possess in the spiritual realm. Everything that shifts must first shift in the spiritual realm. And so those of us who have been given the power and the authority to control that realm or to have a strong influence over that realm, we have to come into remembrance first of who we are. We have to first awaken to the fact that we are spirits having a human experience and that in our purpose to be generational curse breakers, you have to first look at all of the curses that have been placed upon our people, okay? During the time of Christ, they made sure that when they sacrificed him, they also stole his identity. And in doing this, um, let's just say they had not stolen his identity. And we was in full remembrance of who Yeshua was what he came here to do, the messages that he taught us in terms of being the healers for ourselves and for our people, in terms of our divine connection to the Most High God and the connection that we possess in the spiritual realm. Christ came here and performed many miracles. And this is why the powers that were at that time, a butterfly, okay, baby, go see if you see another one. This is why the powers that were at that time, um, they wanted to get rid of Yeshua and they put in great emphasis on searching for him around the time that he will be born there. Like I told you all in my other uh, video, the ritualistic sacrifice of Christ, you might want to go back and check that out. They had called in three wise men and these wise men were literally just people who had an understanding of astrology. Okay. They knew the placements of the stars and this is why when they went to go and find Christ, they looked for the North Star or the Star of Bethlehem, okay? And so it's very important to understand that now that, we, now that we are in the age of Aquarius, this is the age of awakening, we are in the time of revelations where things have to play themselves out. Prophecy has to now be fulfilled. And so we're not just sitting back waiting for prophecy to fulfill itself, but rather we are fulfilling the prophecy in our awakening, the dead bones awakening, okay? Um, and, and the body, you know, for, because the enemy came in and stole Christ's identity and handed to us a European false illusion of a God, that was all to keep the enemy in power because he needed our energy. He needed us to direct our attention and our focus on a God that he created in order to maintain his position in the spiritual realm because they have no... They have no authority there except for the authority that we give them. And so because we were, mo the majority of our people was redirected towards a God that is not in alignment with us. And because we were waiting and waiting for a 
white Christ to return to save us, we was not able to take back our power or our authority, okay? And so now in this understanding, many of you have been seeking answers and you have been finding them. And if you have not found those answers, then you just pray and ask for um, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that infinite wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that would allow you to see things from its spiritual nature, okay? And it also takes for you to do healing and to you know, release um, negative thought processes about yourself. But for those of you who have done the work, y'all stay over here on the sidewalk. For those of you who have done the work, you know who you are. You know that you are a God. You know that you are a goddess. You know that you are a king, a queen, a child of the most high God. You recognize that you are a spirit having a human experience. For those of you who have come into this understanding, this is where you're being called to join the body join those of us who have also come into this understanding of the uh, the authority and the of the power that we possess and it is our time now to retract all contractual agreements that we have made with the enemy because that's where our ancestors went wrong okay this is where the generational curses were able to continue because those contractual agreements that we made in spirit okay uh they, they love to say, you know, that we signed in blood, okay, through the blood of Jesus, the European illusionary Christ that they created, okay? That was like stamping, making your, your stamp in the spiritual realm that you agreed to these people being in a position of authority over us, okay? That was, that was our direct agreement. Every time that we went into these churches and we bowed down and we kneeled down, it's mud over there before this white Christ and we gave reverence. I just saw some birds up there. I like to send my love throughout the universe, send messages with the birds, but we gave reverence to this white Christ. We continued for generations to give the enemy authority. And so I was reading up on, I'm gonna do a video about this in the near future. I just have to do some more research. But one thing that I've recognized was that the, uh, the 13th amendment, consider not just the contractual agreements that we made in the spiritual realm, because that's where it began. That's where the true authority came in. But also the contractual agreements that was actually made in the physical. The 13th Amendment, the enemy claimed that the U.S. Corporation, they claimed that that particular amendment was to set the slaves free, to establish that slavery would be abolished. But that is a lie. If you read carefully the 13th Amendment, it very clearly states that the that slavery is to be abolished except for under the circumstances that someone is convicted of a crime. And in that, if they are convicted of a crime, then that's when they have jurisdiction or permission to place someone under bondage again, to place someone under slavery again. And see, please recognize that these people understand wordplay. And they understand that the majority, because they no longer saw the shackles, because they no longer saw people standing outside picking cotton and being whipped on their backs with, with, uh, with whips and chains and whatever the case may be, um, the majority assumed that this 13th Amendment was actually put in place for the freedom of our people, when in fact it was, it was, it was an illusion that they created because, see, if it says that you are able to become a slave in the case of a conviction, then understand that convictions can be something as minimal as a suspended driver's license, driving on a suspended driver's license, or driving uninsured without insurance. Any type of misdemeanor that they can put into their, into their records, that is a conviction. Okay, so all the way from the misdemeanor to the uh, actual... Okay, baby, to the actual... Um, you know, to anything like a murder, anything of that nature, in that moment, the conviction gives them permission to make you their slave. Nowhere in that document in the 13th Amendment does it say that it is, it is um, a, a statute of limitation on it in terms of how long they can keep you as their slave. It just says that in the event of a conviction, that is when they can actually reestablish you as their slave. So consider, during the time of slavery, during the time when the physical slavery, where you could see it through your natural eyes, existed, 
any time you had a mother that was a slave, any child that she gave birth to was also a slave. Any time that you had a father who was a slave, any child that came through him was also a slave, okay? And so please understand these people have only used wordplay in order to continue out an agenda that has never been put to rest. And this is why it is our position as the gods and the goddesses, the kings and queens, those of us who have awakened, who see this thing through our spiritual eyes, not through your natural eyes. You see the agenda, you see past the wordplay, and you see the clear physical representation of what these people have actually been doing, the physical manifestation of what has been happening as a result of us not taking our power back. This is where we step in. This is where we take back our authority. This is where we do what's necessary to call out and to declare and to decree in the spiritual realm that we now cut these contractual agreements that our ancestors was not able to come into the understanding of, uh, of, of, of dissolving, okay? And so what I highly recommend, what I highly recommend at this time is that for those of you who may have altars in your home, uh, if you don't have altars, it's time to put them up, okay? It's time to um, reestablish that connection with the Most High God, with Mother, with Father, with your spiritual team, okay? Call on Yeshua, call on the Holy Angels, call on your ancestors of love and light, call on the universal spirits of love and light, the cosmic spirits of love and light, the elemental spirits of love and light. Uh, we're, we're reconnecting with everything because we've been given jurisdiction over this land. We've been give, given jurisdiction, not just in the physical, but also in the spiritual. But it's all about us remembering, coming into remembrance of the power that we possess, coming into the remembrance of the authority that we have been given and knowing that everything takes place first in the spiritual realm and then it manifests in the physical. And so what I'm recommending is that you all get a piece of paper. We do this in unison because we are coming up on the official new year, okay? The earth is shifting, okay? Things are changing. And with these changes, you see that the enemy is, uh, you know, it's a lot of um, resistance to releasing its power, okay? But there's nothing that can be done. Now I came into this understanding of doing this particular, of doing this particular release uh, months ago. This was sometime like uh, about the beginning of last year, maybe around April or March of last year. Um, and I did this for myself, for my ancestors and for my offspring. And so now it's something that I am highly recommending to the masses, those of you who know who you are, who are in a space of knowing, not in a space of believing, but you are now in a space of knowing who you are and knowing the power that you possess. You write down and you're gonna burn this. I declare and decree destruction and desolation of all contractual agreements made by my ancestors, myself, the, uh, with the U.S. Corporation and all other entities, known and unknown, who've conspired against our freedom and the reckoning, I'm sorry, and the reclaiming of our inheritance and birthright in spirit and in flesh, in sleep and awakened state across all timelines, realms, and dimensions known and unknown, and so it is. Now I'm gonna read it again because I wanna make sure that it's clear because this is very important that we do this in unison. Like I said, I've already done it, but when two or more come together, then the power that we possess is that much more greater, okay? Especially now in the age of Aquarius. So I'm gonna say it again. I declare and decree destruction and desolation of all contractual agreements made by my ancestors and myself with the U.S. Corporation and all other entities known and unknown who conspired against our freedom and the reclaiming of our inheritance and birthright in spirit and in flesh, in sleep and awakened state across all timelines, realms, and dimensions known and unknown, and so it is. And so for those of you who actually come to do this actual, um, this particular uh, declaration that we are putting out into the spiritual realm, you know, let me know in the comments below, okay, so that we can come together and be in agreement and agreement together, and then to light a candle, to light a candle, y'all put that down, light a candle after you have done this release and this, uh, and, and reclaimed and made this declaration in the spiritual realm, we write, you light a candle and you're going to write on that candle, I declare and I decree that I now
kids on this flow. Um, I will claim my inheritance. I will claim my birthright. I will claim my power and my authority in spirit and in truth. And you, or then you're going to put these truth and awaken state across all timelines, realms, and dimensions, known and unknown. And the candle is lit, so you can get you a long, a long candle candle. It usually has them at the um, at the dollar store, okay? And so you're going to write these things down on that candle. I highly recommend that you all do this. We have to work in unison. Put that down. It's very important for us to take our power back at this time. I'm not going to make this video too much longer, but this is something that um, this is something that we have been called to do, and that we have to do at this time. It is not optional because the enemy has been afraid of this moment. The enemy has been afraid of those of you who will perform this particular declaration to establish that because they go for context. Okay, they get a lot of word wordplay. Okay, they lie to us about these contractual agreements. Those of you who know that you are native to the land here on this American soil, you know, I do acknowledge the fact that I have some ancestors that have also come from the African continent, continent because we were all intermingled together, but I also acknowledge my ancestors who are uh, aborigines to this land, okay? And so we have to first take back our authority in the spiritual realm, okay? And everything will manifest in the physical. So I love you all, and I thank you all for joining me. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, for more messages, also press the notification bell if you want to be able to keep up with my videos as they come through. You all have a great day. Get outside, get you some fresh air in. Sun days, you know, speak with the land, speak with, you know, the earth. Make that connection. I love y'all. I'll talk to you all next time. <laughs> oh,